Alrighty guys, welcome to our NHL video here today for Friday, December 23rd, 2022. Before we get started, if you find yourself enjoying this video here today, please feel free to give it a thumbs up by smashing that like button. I'd greatly appreciate if you did that. You have no idea how much uh, I appreciate you taking a half a second to do that for me. Uh, I'd definitely be grateful. And if you haven't done so already, please feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. I'd love to connect with you on a daily basis. Now, for those of you who don't already know, my name is Brock Page, and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. And if you want to see which one, uh, if you want to see which one of these uh, games, I'm trying to get it out. I don't know. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say here. Uh, there it is. If you want to see which one of these games on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally, you may want to think about signing up for a monthly subscription on my website. I'll include a link for that site in the description section below. And with that, we're going to jump into some shout outs. Shout out to Lowell Wade, who said, no hockey today? Pfft. Lowell, come on, man. Uh, shout out to Sam Obi, who said, I don't think I'm touching the Missouri game. And finally, shout out to Robert Thompson, who said, I kind of like the points in the Clippers myself, Brock, but then again, it's just a lean and you're not betting it. And with that, let's go ahead and dive into some free content. We're going to take a look at the Bruins at the Devils, 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop. Boston's minus 120, total six and a half. Linus Yulmark for Boston, Mackenzie Blackwood for New Jersey. And even though Blackwood's got a handful of wins in limited action, uh, he's actually seen his save percentage dip down to an 892. Now, as a team, the Devils, they've actually hit a bit of a rough patch here recently. They're just 1-6 straight up in their last seven. And they've certainly had their issues scoring at home. These guys are in the bottom five in the league in first period scoring on their own ice. They're also facing the best team in the game here today, uh, or I'm sorry, the best uh, goaltender in the game here today in Linus Yulmark. Uh, the Boston netminder is 18-1, and one, and he also has a 189 goals against average. And if for some reason Yulmark has a bad day, probably not going to happen, but you know, uh, if hell freezes over and Yulmark stinks, well, he's backed by some powerful offensive lines. Uh, David Posternock, he's fourth in the league in scoring with 22 goals. Meanwhile, defenseman uh, Hampus Lindholm, he has, he's a, uh, a league best plus 25. Now, injury-wise, the Bruins are still relatively healthy. No significant scratches I can report to you at the moment. Meanwhile, for New Jersey, Ryan Graves is out with a lower body injury. When it comes to the total, the Devils are 11-7 and to the under in Newark. Meanwhile, Boston went 60% to the under in their last 10. I'm going to lean toward the Bruins, minus a buck 20, under six and a half. Next contest, Flyers, Hurricanes, 7 o'clock Eastern start time. Carolina's minus 330, total six. Piotr Kochikov for Carolina. Sam Urson for Philadelphia. Now, Sammy's making his debut here today for the Flyers. And uh, got to be honest, it really couldn't come at a, uh, a worse time. Philadelphia scoring just 2.4 goals a game offensively. They're also facing a Carolina team who's allowing just 24 shots on goal a game on their home ice. Piotr Kochkov, he's 10-1 on the year, along with a 194 goals against average. So uh, Kochkov doing a great job, and he's only seeing 24 shots a game. Uh, it's going to be tough to get the puck in the net. Now, when it comes to offensive production, Carolina is getting over 34 pucks on net a game. Andre Svechikov, he has the team best 17 goals on the year. We all Sebastian Ajo's got 27 points on the season as well. Looks like Ajo is uh, feeling a little bit better, a little bit healthier here at the end of the week. Now, injury-wise, Andre Case, he's still out for Carolina. We walk for Philadelphia. Sandstrom and Willman are questionable. When it comes to the total, Philadelphia saw unders against the likes of New Jersey, Colorado, and Vegas. Meanwhile, Carolina saw five out of their last seven stay under the total. I'm going to lean toward Carolina minus one and a half and the under six in the tight window. Next game, Jets, Caps, 7 o'clock East. Washington's minus 165, total six goals. 
Charlie Lindgren for Washington, David Riddick for Winnipeg. Now, Riddick's got a 255 goals against average and a 909 save percentage. No real surprise here, guys. The Jets are in the top five and fewest goals allowed. Now, offensively, Mark Scheifele's eighth in the league in goals with 20 of them. Meanwhile, Kyle Connor and P.L. Dubois, they have 30 goals combined. Now, they're facing a Caps team who really tends to start off slow offensively. They're in the bottom three in the league in first period, scoring at home when it comes to defensive play. They actually give up the majority of their goals late in games. Now, injury-wise, T.J. Oshie is out for the Caps. When it comes to the total, Washington 63% to the under in the Capital One Arena. Meanwhile, Winnipeg's 10-6 and of the under while traveling. I'm going to lean toward Winnipeg plus one and a half, under six. Next game, it is going to be Panthers-Islanders, 7.30 p.m. East. Florida's minus 140, total six and a half. Sergei Bobrovsky for Florida, Ilya Sorokin for New York. Now, Sorokin's got double-digit wins on the year, along with a 924 save percentage. And no real surprise here, guys. The Owls are allowing just 2.5 goals a game in the UBS arena. Defenseman Ryan Pulak, he's a plus eight when he's on a shift. When it comes to offensive production, Brock Nelson's leading the club in goals with 15 of them. Now, they're facing a Florida team who has had a tough time on defense while traveling. They're in the bottom 10 in goals allowed on the road. And out of 18 contests away from home this year, Panthers have a win percentage of just 388. Now, injury-wise, Alex Barkoff is out for the Panthers. When it comes to the total, Florida's gone 12-6 and six of the over while traveling. Meanwhile, the Isles went 6-2 and two to the over in their last eight. I'm going to lean toward the Islanders, plus about 20, over 6.5. Next game, Avalanche Predators, 8 o'clock Eastern start time. Colorado is minus about 20, totals 5.5. Alex Gorgiev for Colorado, UC Soros for Nashville. And even though Soros has been solid, the Preds as a team, they've dropped six out of their last eight. They're also one of the worst scoring teams in the game. Nashville's averaging only two and a half goals per contest. Now they're facing Alex Gorgiev, who's 14 and six with a 924 save percentage. Meanwhile, as a team, the Abs are allowing just 2.7 goals a game. Defenseman Eric Johnson, he's a plus nine when he's on a shift. When it comes to the injury report, Nate McKinnon's still out for the Avs. Andrew Coliano is also scratched for Colorado. When it comes to the total, the Avs are 10 and 5 to the under while traveling. Meanwhile, Nashville is 60% to the under in the Bridgestone Arena. I'm going to lean toward Colorado, minus a buck 20, under 5.5. Next game, Habs, Stars, 8 o'clock Eastern start time. Dallas is minus 320, total 6. Jake Odinger for Dallas. Jake Allen for Montreal. And out of 21 starts this year, Jake Allen's gotten the W just nine times. Now as a team, the Canadians dropped seven out of their last 10. And they're in the bottom three in offensive shots on goal per game. Now they're going to have to face Jake Odinger, who's 13-5 and five in the crease with the 247 goals against average. When it comes to offensive production, not many Teams score more than the Stars. These guys are in the top five in scoring, and they're led by Jason Robertson, who's third in the league in goals. Now, injury-wise, Gorionov is still out for the Stars. Meanwhile, for Montreal, Savard, Monaghan, and Matheson, they're still out for them. When it comes to the number, Montreal is 13-40 and 40 the under while traveling. Meanwhile, Dallas went 60% to the under in their last 10. I'm going to lean toward Dallas, minus one and a half, under six. Next matchup, Blue Jackets, Blackhawks, 8.30 p.m. East. Both teams are minus a buck ten, pretty much a coin flip in this one. Total six and a half. Alex Salek for Chicago. Daniil Tarashoff for Columbus. And out of nine starts, well, Danny's gotten the W just two times. He's also got himself a goals against average in the threes. Now, as a team, the Blue Jackets are on a five-game skid, and they're winning only 16% of their contests away from Columbus. They're going to have to face Alex Stalick here, who's been a lone bright spot for Chicago this season. He's got a goals against average in the twos, along with a 914 save percentage. And in these teams' last 10 head-to-head -head meetings, 
The Blackhawks got the W seven times. Now, injury-wise, Jake McCabe's been upgraded to probable. Meanwhile, for Columbus on the other side, Voracek, Bean, Danforth, and Blankenberg, they are still out. Mers Lincolns and Corpusalo, they are questionable. Uh, those are the uh, two goal, uh, other goaltenders, by the way. When it comes to the total, Columbus saw four out of their last five road games stay under the number. Meanwhile, Chicago went 60% to the under in their last 10. I'm going to lean towards Chicago, minus a buck 10, under six and a half. Next game, Canucks, Oilers, 9 o'clock Eastern start time. Edmonton's the $2.20 favorite, total six and a half. Stu Skinner for Edmonton, Spencer Martin for Vancouver. Now, Martin's got one of the higher goals against averages in the game right now. He's got a 366 goals against average and a save percentage of just 884. And when Vancouver plays on the road, well, they're allowing more goals a game than most clubs in the league. They're in the bottom three in goals allowed per contest while traveling. They're also facing an Edmonton squad who loves putting the puck in the net. They're in the top three in goals per contest. They're led by Connor McDavid, who has a league-best 39 goals. Now, teammate Leon Dreisaitl, he's second in the league in points. Uh, he's right behind David in that category. Uh, McDavid's uh, leading the league in points as well. When it comes to the injury report, the Oilers are 14-4 and four to the over at Rogers Place. Meanwhile, Vancouver's a staggering 13-3 and three to the over on the road. I'm going to lean toward Edmonton, minus one and a half, over six and a hook. Next game, Kings, Coyotes, 9.30 p.m. East. Los Angeles is minus 165, total six. Johnny Quick for the Kings, Karel Vamoka for Arizona. And even though Vamoka's got a handful of good starts, he does still come into today's ball, uh, today's game with an, a uh, goals against average in the threes. Meanwhile, as a team, the Coyotes lost seven out of their last 10. And they're allowing 38 shots on goal on their home ice. Uh, 38 shots on goal a game. Now, they're facing a Kings team who's on a four-game winning streak. And they get nearly 34 pucks on net a game. Kevin Fiala has a team best 35 points on the year. Meanwhile, Mikey Anderson's a plus eight. Now, total-wise, LA's 12-7 and seven to the over in their travels. Arizona saw four out of their last five at the Mullet Arena get over the total. Give me the Kings, minus 165, over six. Next matchup, Blues, Golden Knights, 10 o'clock east. Vegas is minus 160, total six goals. Logan Thompson for the Knights, Jordan Bennington for St. Louis. Now, Jordy's taken the loss in 11 starts already, and he has a goals against average in the threes. And if that ain't bad enough, these St. Louis defensive lines, they're allowing 35 shots on goal a game away from home. They're facing a Vegas team who's in the top 10 in goals per game. Riley Smith, he's the team leader in goals. Chandler Stevenson's got a team-high 32 points. When it comes to defensive play, the Knights are allowing just 27 shots on goal a game at the T-Mobile Arena. Logan Thompson's 15-8 between the pipes with a 9-17 save percentage. When it comes to the injury report, Marcheseau and Cotter are questionable. Now for St. Louis on the other side, Jordan Kyrou is questionable for them. When it comes to the total, St. Louis has averaged just 2.5 goals a game in their last 10 meetings with Vegas. So if you're into historical trends, certainly want to think about that one there. Meanwhile, the Knights on the other side, they are 15-3 and three to the under in Sin City. Give me Vegas minus 160, under 6. Next and final matchup, it is going to be Flames, Ducks, 10.30 Eastern start time. Calgary's the $2.20 favorite, total 6. Jacob Markstrom for the Flames, Lucas Dostal for Anaheim. Now, Luke's got just five starts under his belt, and he's posted a goals against average over 365 already. And that really should uh, come as no surprise. The Ducks are giving up more goals a game than any other club in hockey. They're facing a Calgary squad who puts 34 pucks on net per contest. Tyler Toffoli has a club best 14 goals on the year. Meanwhile, Elias Lindholm leads the team in points. Now, when it comes to defensive play, the Flames are in the top five in fewest shots on goal allowed. And that's certainly good news for Jake Markstrom. 
He's got double-digit wins on the year with a goals against average in the twos. Now, when it comes to the total, Calgary went 7-3 to the over in their last 10. Meanwhile, Anaheim 70% to the over in their last 10 themselves. I'm going to lean toward Calgary, minus one and a half, over six. For that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. I like Boston, minus 120, under six and a half. Carolina, minus one and a half, under six. Winnipeg, plus one and a half, under six goals. New York Islanders, plus 120, over six and a half. Colorado, minus 120, under five and a half. Dallas, minus one and a half, under six goals. Chicago, minus a buck 10, under six and a half. Edmonton, minus one and a half, over six and a hook. LA Kings, minus 165, over six goals. Vegas Golden Knights, minus 160, under six. With my next and final free pick for the video, I'm going to lean toward the Flames, minus one and a half, over six goals. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on my website. If you guys do end up getting a membership here today on patreon.com slash Brock Page, you are going to get access to that package for the next 30 days. As an added bonus here, guys, you're also going to get access to all of my cheaper memberships absolutely free. They're going to be included with your purchase. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. With that said, guys, happy Friday to you. Best of luck to you. I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.